right, so the big question is gonna be, is this bike worth $32,000? Yes, that's like an insane amount of money for a motorcycle, but um, short answer is I honestly believe that it's worth it. <laughs> that might sound crazy, like some people are like, oh, like that's a, that's a car, and it is. <laughs> but I genuinely believe that this bike is worth that money. You get a hell of a motorcycle for $32,000. It's the whole package. Short answer is yes. So the whole purpose of this video is to talk about my one year of ownership of having this motorcycle. I've had a lot of people ask, like, is it reliable? Like, what issues have I had? Um, how's it been? Has it been expensive to maintain it? You know, a bunch of different stuff as a lot of people are curious about the Ducatis and I understand that. That's actually one of the things that shied my dad away over the years of purchasing a Ducati. He was always afraid of like the maintenance and like what comes with it and the parts are expensive. Of course, it being Italian and stuff like that. So, and he's had other Italian bikes that were also expensive <laughs> to maintain. Um, you know, he never pulled the trigger on a Ducati. It's definitely different than it was back in the day. I'm not exactly sure how long Audi has owned Ducati, but I know it's been for some years now. And from what I've read and heard is that the reliability has gone up like an insane amount. People have said that they even think that they're built better now. I don't know. I mean, I love all the Ducatis. The, the old Ducatis are awesome as well, but um, I don't really know much about them as I haven't owned them or ridden them really. Um, this is my first Ducati, if you guys don't know. I took delivery of this motorcycle just over a year ago. You know, and I've, I've put a decent amount of miles on it. I have over 5,000 miles on it right now. Um, I've rode it a, a good bit. I've rode it in all different types of conditions. I've rode it, you know, really hot days, really cold days. It unfortunately has been in rain. You know, like it's been in all these different conditions, like doing different things. I didn't track it this year, but I definitely plan to do that next season. But I know that it'll do phenomenal on the track. Yeah, but like this bike, it's like so, so many, like so many people have so many questions about it. And they're like, what is it like? Like, how is it? Also, let me elaborate on me saying that this bike is, <laughs> that is worth $32,000. It's actually a little over $32,000 and then you have, you know, freight, prep, tax, um, all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be a bit more than that, but that's just MSRP. To me personally, this motorcycle is like the entire package. It has the insane looks, like look at, look at that. That bike is, it looks insane. Like it looks like a, a piece of art. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. And you know, the Italians, they always do really good with their designs of, uh, especially looks wise. But yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful bike. It sounds insane. The V4 sounds incredible. If you guys don't know, I have the full titanium Makropovich underbelly system on it. It sounds ridiculous. Just the raw sound that comes out of this thing on your load when you're getting up in the RPMs, it's it's unbelievable. Like, and when you're shifting and downshifting, you'll hear the pops, the cracks, and the little bangs. It's, it's nuts. And it's really loud, like, when you're on it, but I mean, it's a full titanium racing system. So, I mean, what do you expect? And even for the stock system, it sounded really good. Um, it sounded a little weak on idle because it was only running on two cylinders. But as soon as you put it into gear and the bike was warmed up, all four cylinders would activate. It sounds insane. It, it was crazy. I, I was so shocked how well it sounded for a stock system. Like my inline fours, like my S1000, my R1, like other bikes like that, they sounded like a vacuum cleaner. It was crazy. But these sound pretty good. I was really, really shocked. And uh, you can definitely get away with running a stock system. And I I think the stock system looks awesome on it. It fills in the belly pan really nice and it flows with the body lines I think really well so you could definitely go that route if you'd like to but um, I absolutely recommend getting the full titanium system and you get the up map and you get the sprint air filter and all that stuff. It's good stuff you definitely want that on this kind of bike. <laughs> yeah I mean everything about this bike it's it's unbelievable. I've had so much fun on it. It's borderline like addicting to ride. I love riding my S1000. I love riding my R1. And if you guys haven't saw, I actually sold my R1 recently, so uh, kind of a soft spot there. <laughs> I'll definitely be replacing it with something else, so definitely stay tuned for that. Check out my last video explaining why I sold my R1 and what I had to say about it. Yeah, I mean, this bike is just the entire package. It's my first V4 motorcycle, it's my first Ducati, and it's, it's, it's a lot different than an inline four that you get on, you know, your standard Japanese bikes or your S1000s and stuff like that. The power feels different, the way it revs feels different, the red line on this thing is insane, it's like 15.5, it's nuts. Especially on an 1103cc engine, like that's crazy. It really is, like I said this in my video, um, I think it was my unboxing video. This bike is like 
It's gonna be like the closest thing that you get to like a track bike, race bike, that's legal on the street. It's really crazy. <laughs> it's a blast. I've had so much fun on it. Um, this may be surprising to some of you guys, but I have not had any issues with it. It's been super reliable. It started up every time. It's acted great. It does get a little hot sometimes. Like if you're putting it around down city streets, like stop and go, especially when it gets like really hot and like a really hot day and you're just stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. You'll definitely feel it. And it can kind of almost feel like a little clunky, but it feels great. I've never had this bike overheat on me. I've never had it, you know, dump coolant on me. It's never left me stranded. It's been great. You know, it starts right up. It sounds insane. Like I said, it takes you wherever you want to go. It'll do whatever you want to do. That's what I love about this bike. It's super flickable. It, it feels like, like a 600. It's crazy. Just the way like Ducati has mastered the chassis and the whole setup of this bike. It's, it's unbelievable. The Panigale V4 platform is just like, it's undeniably at the top. And I've rode a lot of different bikes. All the bikes out there genuinely like are good. It's more of a preference thing and like kind of like what you want. It's just kind of what it comes down to. But this bike genuinely like to me personally is it's it's mind blowing. I love this thing so much. I plan to get more Ducatis in the future. I can understand like the Ducati hype now. I was always kind of like confused. I'm like, oh my God, like they, they love their Ducatis. <laughs> it was crazy. It was almost like, like other premium brand owners like Ferraris or like Lamborghinis, which are awesome. Like, of course all amazing machines and uh, that's something to be proud of to own. But it was always kind of like weird. I was just like, what is up with that? After owning a Ducati for a year now, I'm putting thousands of miles on it. It's been awesome and I totally get it. You know, some people can look at it like negatively, like it's like a flex or it's like a status thing, which I guess it kind of is. I do not, I'm not that way. Like I do not mean to be, I'm not like one of these people that flex like that. I'm super like laid back with my stuff. I'm not throwing anything that I have in anybody's face like ever. I let like people sit on it and I like, let people like hear it, start it up, they want to rev it, like cool. Like I love people enjoying this motorcycle as well, not just me, like that's kind of selfish. You know, a lot of people get like a really big kick out of it and they love to see Ducatis out on the road. It's super awesome. And this bike just gets so much attention. Like, you know, I'll be at a gas station or I'll be at a store or, you know, wherever. And people are like, I, it gets compliments and it breaks necks like everywhere. People are always looking at it. But it sounds crazy and it just looks crazy. It's a really, really unique and awesome motorcycle. I couldn't recommend getting a Ducati enough, honestly. If you want to spend those extra dollars and stuff like that and try something different, I 110% recommend getting a Ducati. Just try it out. They have so many different like models and stuff to offer too. There's just there's just so many different bikes. Like, yeah, I, I don't know. Any of my friends that have Ducatis, they love them. Some of them, like that's with anything though. Like I feel like that's the common like misconception. If you have a big enough bunch, like there's gonna be some bad apples. And that's with any bike. It could go with cars or whatever, you know. There's always gonna be some bad examples of a product out there. And sometimes things aren't perfect. You can't let that like weird misconception like, get to your head. Like you just gotta try it out. These come with an awesome two year warranty. I'm not exactly sure on how it works. I'd have to look into it more, but you can get an extended warranty through Ducati. Like I said, I don't know too much about it, but I believe you can extend it a few more years. Definitely something to look into. And from what I've heard, it's pretty affordable. You definitely want to have a warranty on a bike like this. And especially like, like I said, you know, on premium, it goes for motorcycles, cars, um, parts are expensive and labor can be expensive as well. Of course, nothing's cheap nowadays. <laughs> if anybody's curious as to where I service my Ducati, I go to Ray Hall Ducati Cleveland. I'm up, I'm up here in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. And they're the only people that touch my Ducati and they're absolutely phenomenal. So if you're in like the Midwest area, I know there's a few other dealerships out there, but definitely check out Ray Hall Ducati Cleveland and Ray Hall Ducati in Indy. Both phenomenal dealerships owned by Graham Ray Hall. Super cool guy and let them know I sent you. I've had absolutely zero issues with my local Ducati dealership. They'll definitely take great care of you and they'll do whatever they can to make sure your motorcycle is running absolutely perfect. Their techs there are great, their whole staff's great, so. That's absolutely another thing that I want to talk about. Everything on this motorcycle as well. Like some people will wonder why does it cost this much? I'm not exactly sure why everything costs as much as it does on this motorcycle, but what I can say is that everything feels super premium. It's incredible. Like the difference between your Japanese motorcycle and this is it's absolutely insane. Everything feels very well put together. No cheap plastic, no like cheap materials. It's really actually, it's it's pretty shocking. Like the difference between like your base model, like uh, for the Japanese motorcycles, which they're all a lot cheaper, I understand that. But uh, you definitely get your money's worth with high grade material. Yeah, on this S you get the March and CD Forge wheels. The suspension is absolutely incredible. It's a fully adjustable electronic suspension if you guys didn't know. And actually on the dash, you can go in and adjust everything 
everything manually and like how you want it. You can do preload, rebound, all of that stuff. And we get it dialed into exactly how you want it. And there's different modes for the suspension. Another thing is the brakes. Holy crap. Yeah, the brakes are absolutely insane as well. It was super shocking. Like I remember my first ride on it and I was going through this corner that I've been through many, many times. And I was kind of, you know, moving through it a little bit. And you have to go on and like brake kind of hard. I remember like it shocked me how hard they bit. It was really like, I was like, oh my gosh. Like <laughs> it was crazy. Not in a dangerous way or anything. It was just really shocking like how responsive and how well did they brake and the, the feeling in them is just insane. Like I said, out of the box, you can just take this thing to a track and just dominate if you have the skill to ride it. Like I said, it's an absolutely phenomenal bike. I've been kind of rambling about it, but uh, I just thought I'd give you guys like some information and give you guys like an honest review of like my experience of owning a Ducati. And it especially being my first one, I just thought I'd let you guys know. And if you guys were curious and hopefully this maybe changes some of your guys' minds on the Ducati or maybe sets you over the edge to go out and buy one. Like I said, I, I absolutely recommend it. I think you'll love it. Like I said, they have so many different models and they're all great motorcycles. And if you're into the super sports or whatever you want to call it, the Pentagalli V4s are just mind-blowingly insane. Like I said, it is the full package. Um, you can't really go wrong with it and it's just been great. So like I said, I just wanted to get on here and let you guys know like what my experience has been like of owning my first Ducati and putting almost 6,000 miles on it. I'm actually about to go get it serviced here soon at Ducati Cleveland, you know, get its annual service taken care of and get it ready for next season. I definitely have a lot more parts to put on it this uh, winter. I'm not gonna say anything yet, but just more of like cosmetic stuff. Definitely some carbon fiber and stuff like that. And I think it'll definitely change the look of the bike, you know, make it look really awesome. And I, I can't wait to share it with you guys. So definitely stay tuned for those videos. Another thing that's awesome about this bike is the rideability. I know with like this new gen that they were um, trying to make them more rider friendly and it's surprising how smooth and like how easy to manage this bike is considering that it makes like 230 brake horsepower and around 100 foot pounds of torque. It's very, very smooth. Like I said, in the city, it can be kind of clunky. You know, the stop and go, it can get really hot. And hey, I mean, at least you get a heated seat out of it. <laughs> It'll definitely keep you warm if you're not warm. It's just really amazing like how great the electronics are on this bike. And there's all these different rider modes and different settings that you can adjust. You can adjust everything like traction control, wheelie control, slip control, control, engine brake control, everything. You can adjust everything. And you could really put like a decent novice rider on this bike and they would be fine if they're responsible. <laughs> it's really crazy. Like it's very impressive to see like how great the electronics are. And, and when you turn down the electronics, this bike gets super rowdy. <laughs> If you have the skill to manage it, it's a blast. Not saying that I do. I, I think I can hang with it pretty well. <laughs> but it's it's this bike's just so much fun. And if you have the opportunity to ride one, try it out. I'm definitely very curious. I've always wanted to ride the uh, like the previous gen, like the L Twins, like the 1199s, the 1299s, stuff like that. I've heard great things about those bikes and that they make like just crap tons of torque and that they're like super, super raw feeling, like that the electronics are very minimal on them and that they just that they're just like insane to ride. So definitely let me know if any of you guys have rode the Ducati L Twins and like what your experiences and what your thoughts are. I have to ride one eventually, but we'll get to that point. <laughs> but what I can say for this V4S is that it's just absolutely phenomenal. And uh, yeah, it might just sound like I'm just glazing this bike over here, which I kind of am, but <laughs> it's so great. Um, I love it. I've just genuinely had a great experience with it and uh, it's just been so much fun and I'm looking forward to riding it again. It's cold here in Ohio. Hopefully we have some nice days here and there and I can get out on it and make some content for you guys and some riding videos. It's still like kind of weird talking to this camera. <laughs> it's a little intimidating when I have my camera just staring at me. Yeah, so let me know down in the comments if you guys have had a Ducati or if you have a Ducati and what your experience has been like. I would love to hear it. I'm super, super curious. I've heard, I feel like like 95% of Ducati owners like absolutely love their bikes and have had nothing but a great experience. But like I said, there's always gonna be those hit and misses but that's just with anything, so take that with a grain of salt. I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment on it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys want to see from me. Just give me some suggestions, and we can definitely make something happen. I love when the viewers throw out like ideas and like what they want to see, and I can definitely incorporate that and try to make something happen. And also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at motorradboy 21 as well. It's the same at name as this channel. I post there like pretty much daily, so if you guys want to see more of my stuff, I'm always on there interacting with everybody and. Yeah, and if you ever have any questions or suggestions, just DM me or like I said, drop a comment down on one of my videos. And uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll have a writing video for you guys next, I promise. <laughs>